By now, we're all familiar with LeBron's first son, Bronny James. Bronny James to the basket. Bronny with a basket bombardment! But his other son, Bryce, has gone overlooked. As it turns out, the younger of the two might be the better basketball prospect. Bryce James away from the screen from Chol. Oh, nice move. And it's two for Bryce James. Here are 10 things that you might not have known about LeBron's youngest son, Bryce James. He's younger and already taller than his brother, Bronny. It was reported last year that Bryce was standing at 6'3 as a 14-year-old, but now, at 15 years old, Bryce is reportedly 6'6, standing 3 inches taller than his older brother, Bronny, who is 17 years old. It really isn't much of a surprise that he hit the huge growth spurt, though, because his dad was around the same height at this point in his life as well. Given he's only 15, he still could end up growing even more in the next few years and end up somewhere around his dad's height of 6 foot 9. Currently, Bryce attends Sierra Canyon High School, the same school Bronny will be graduating from this year, and is entering his sophomore year. The class of 2025 is not ranked yet, but when his class gets ranked, he is assumed to be among one of the higher-ranked high school prospects and will attract colleges across the country. As a matter of fact, Bryce recently received his first of many Division I college offers from Duquesne University. Will Bryce, Bronny, and LeBron be the first family trio in the NBA? LeBron said he won't retire until he plays with Bronny, but now he's got another to add in the mix. <laughs> Bryce's favorite NBA player? Quick answer, not his dad. You would think that being the son of one of the greatest basketball players ever, they would automatically be their favorite player. But this is not the case with Bryce. His favorite NBA player is one of his dad's rivals, Steph Curry. In his early playing days, he would wear the number 30 in honor of him, but it appears that he has since switched to the number three. Could this still have something to do with Steph Curry? Absolutely, but that is not confirmed. Steph has shaped this young generation into shooters, so maybe Bryce will take on Steph's shooting traits and LeBron's dominance on the court. He is the best shooter in the house. Surprisingly enough, in a house full of high-level talent, the youngest son is regarded as the best shooter in the house for sure, according to his dad LeBron, making it clear he is attempting to mold his game after the legendary Steph Curry. Based on his highlights, it looks like he has a very quick and clean stroke from deep. Bryce and Bronny weren't allowed on social media. LeBron has set some very strict rules on his children, especially when it comes to social media. And honestly, I don't blame him with how brutal the internet is nowadays. Bryce wasn't allowed to have an Instagram account until he turned 14 years old, and the same rule applied for Bronny as well. This came about because of a bad experience that the two sons allegedly had at a young age on the app. He wasted no time when he finally got the account, though. He's already racked up over 100 million followers on the gram. James, the one and only the king, the king from Cleveland. How tall you is? Bryce has more than just social media restrictions. His parents didn't allow him to play any sports he wanted, and it would be assumed he would play basketball, considering his father is one of the best to ever do it. But LeBron didn't allow him to play football or ice hockey for injury risk reasons, obviously. When you come from greatness, it would just be stupid to risk that in a contact sport like football or hockey. LeBron said only basketball, baseball, and soccer are allowed in my house. We all know LeBron was also a football star in high school, but even he understood the risk he was taking back then. So he made sure that his children did not have the same risk at all. Maybe the craziest of them all. Bryce was born the day after LeBron got swept by the San Antonio Spurs in what was his first NBA Finals appearance in 2007. 
here's the buzzer. The San Antonio Spurs are NBA champions once again. Their fourth title in nine years. So I guess something good came out of the series with the Spurs after all. We all know about the strong friendship shared between Chris Paul and LeBron James. This just adds to that storyline. During the NBA Finals, LeBron obviously could not be at the hospital the whole time for the birth of his newest child. But Chris Paul was there. When Bryce James was born, he was at the hospital. Because of this, Chris Paul is his godfather. LeBron confirmed this in 2021. He was at the hospital for the birth of one of your children. <laughs> yeah, he was at the hospital for the birth of my second child, my second son, Bryce Maximus. And it happened to be during the NBA Finals then, wow. yeah. you know? So, uh, you know, he's the godfather of Bryce. And uh, Bryce came out the night before, and then I went on to proceed to get my ass kicked by the Spurs the next day. <laughs> so, uh, there was no sleep for me then. <laughs> yeah. Not only is Bryce lethal from behind the arc, but with his newfound height, he can already windmill and do a variety of dunks. Check out this one. Given that he's so young, he still needs to grow into his body, but the signs he's shown so far are incredibly encouraging. Being a part of this worldwide known family comes with a lot of attention, but it can be a good thing. Being only a sophomore, Bryce James already has an NIL valuation of 748000 I think it's safe to say that most, if not all, sophomores in high school aren't even coming close to numbers like this. However, this number is sure to increase drastically as he gets closer to graduating because he just started high school a little over a year ago. There's been talks recently that Bryce has become the new superstar in the James family and has overtaken Bronny's throne. I think assuming that he's going to be ready at age 19, that's a big ass, Dan. Maybe he will be. I mean, that's two years from now. Maybe he will be. But when I saw him play, he was a freshman and there were two guys on his team that year that are now in the NBA. Zaire Williams with the Grizzlies and Brandon Boston is with the Clippers. Those guys, when you saw that, you were like, whoa, <laughs> I will see that gentleman in the NBA yeah. in two years. I don't get that same vibe. And my people I talk to don't get that same vibe about Bronny. There are actually people, and I've never seen his younger son Bryce play. There are people who have told me that Bryce actually might be the better prospect amongst the two, but his, but Bryce, I think, is 13 or something like that. I don't, I don't know if we can go that far down the list. What do you think about Bryce James? Is the hype real? Will either of the James brothers be able to overtake the greatness of the greatest? Now, if you want to watch more NBA videos like this one, check this video out right here.